Thank you. Uh, after two years of work, we are really excited to show you the new pixel meter for iPad today. It's a full featured image editing app. We are going to open a 4K image of the Arabian Desert. It's really exciting that we can work so smoothly with large images like this. The new iPad handles those images faster and better than ever before. We created a graphic by using the shadow of the actual oryx in the sand and some text, which we'll bring in as a new layer. I'd like to place it here at the bottom, but they see there is a straggler oryx that would interfere with the graphic. So let's remove the oryx right now. We were able to bring our repair tool from our award-winning Mac version to the iPad and it works fantastic. By simply brushing over the Oryx, our app will take care of removing it, but still maintain the background. That is two times faster on the new iPad compared to iPad Air. Notice how the texture in the sand is intact even though the Oryx is gone. Let's place the graphic back at the bottom and size it to fit. Now, let's blend the graphic with the background to complement the color of the sand. Next, I'd like to apply a filter to enhance the color and darken the edges a bit. We can adjust the depth and strength of the effect. Notice the very fast response time. So, that's a quick peek of Pixelmator for iPad coming later this month in the App Store. The power of the new iPad is perfect for the new Pixelmator. We've seen improvement of up to three times in many aspects of the app. It's a fantastic pairing that would make image editing a breeze. Thank you. Next, there's an exciting new video editing application that has everyone a buzz. It's called Replay. It's from a bunch of brilliant scientists from France. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up Jeff Boudier to show you what they've been up to. Welcome, Thank Jeff. You. With Replay, you can use your iPad to create amazingly rich videos without knowing anything about editing. With me is my co-founder, Francois. Let's take a look. We all take so many photos, so many videos. Often, we don't have time to do anything with them, like these videos from a trip in Utah. To make a nice movie edit out of all this, it would take me hours of work, right? Well, let's select all these clips and see how long it takes Replay to make a movie. My movie is already playing. What just happened? In one tap. Thank you. In one tap, Replay analyzed all my videos, added beautiful motion graphics, and synchronized everything to the beat of the music. Okay, let's do it again, but try a different style. <laughs> I love this style. Replay runs computer vision algorithms to find the best accent color for each video, then desaturates the rest. And with metal, this code runs 20 times faster than using the CPU. <laughs> but this style is too romantic. Let's try something more vibrant. Nice. I love how Replay picks the background colors to match the videos. Now I want to add a text slide. Let me show you how easy it is. How about Utah Road Trip? Just as easy, I can add captions, trim videos, or reorder things. The result, again, is instant. We created a custom rendering engine on top of OpenGL. And with each new processor, Replay gets faster. And with A8X, we get four times faster rendering than on A7. Now, I'm really excited to show you something never done before on mobile. <laughs> it's very Hollywood. See how the light interacts with the text? I can even set the lighting color while my movie is playing. This effect is called volumetric lighting and Replay renders it in real time on the iPad. This is truly desktop class performance. We believe video creation should be easy and instant. 
with this new iPad and metal, our vision becomes reality. This new style will be available end of October, and you can get replay for free on the App Store today. We can't wait to see what you'll create. Thank you. Thank you.